Now, some people, including myself, s see Training Day as a point where you took a drastic turn in terms of the characters you're playing. Now, that may be because I and they haven't seen a previous film where you took a drastic turn. Mm -hmm. But was it a drastic turn? Were you looking to... Um, no, I just think from... I mean, you're not the first person to say that to me. Um, and I think that it's just the first film I had done in a while that people had seen. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. Um, if I had to mark a transition for myself, it would be the film I did right before Training Day, which was Tape, which is a Richard Linkletter film um, where I feel like I found myself as an adult actor, and Training Day is a manifestation of that. Um, every, it marks a line there for me. This, you know. But also, you know, Training Day, you gotta, Denzel Washington is a great actor, you know? He really is, he's a great movie star and a great actor and, a, and an icon. And um, it's like going five sets with, uh, uh, you know, Andre Agassi or something. You don't have to win. Going five sets is, uh, is impressive. So I think that people saw that as a, as a departure for me or an arrival for me, however you want to look at it. And, and I knew that there had been a lot of work that went into my being able to do that. Um, and I knew before I went there that I could do it. You knew the f going into the film that it was going to probably have a higher profile than maybe tape being... Mm, certainly. Um, was it important for you to, for it to, for you to work? I, mean, I imagine it's important in every film you do, but I mean, in this case, you knew something Some was films are more on. important than others. Yeah, yeah. And there was something writing on Training Day, wasn't there? Um, something writing on Training yeah. Day? Yeah. You know, again, I don't think like that. What was writing on Training Day for me was... I wanted to um, take the level of comfort and confidence that I felt working alone in a room with Richard Linkletter and Robert Sean Leonard and stuff, old friends of mine, and be able to do it in a mainstream Hollywood movie, to be that confident and that comfortable. And I, I didn't, when you say writing on like I cared how it turned out or how it did, I, my, my brain really doesn't think like that. I wanted to, um, Denzel Washington can eat actors for breakfast. And you know what, I wanted to help him be great. And I thought, if he had to help carry my dead weight around, then it'd be a waste of his time. And I wanted to, I wanted to be as real and full and vibrant as he was and not let him do the work for me. And I thought that if I did that, then he would truly excel. And that was my kind of mission on that movie. I assume you were happy for him when he won the Oscar. I was ecstatic, you know, from the time I read the script, I thought, well, if I do my job right, then Denzel Washington will win the Academy Award for this movie. Because, uh, I, you know, so I, I mean, I saw myself as an assist man on that movie, so I, I felt like mission accomplished when that happened. <laughs>